Bayez bin Ajan. The presidencies are continuously saying that Rahul Gandhi should apologize on his remarks, on his speech given in London. How do you see this? Rahul Gandhi has completed a historic Bharat Joro Yatra, a Yatra of 3,700 kilometers in which he talked about unity, peace and harmony. It is about this Yatra that he is reflecting on his lectures abroad. And the BJP are scared because they know what Rahul Gandhi ji is speaking is the truth. Compare what Pradhan Mantri Modi ji spoke when he said in China and he said in South Korea that prior to 2014, people were ashamed of being born in India. Such kind of low remarks, despicable remarks were made by the Prime Minister on foreign soil. So at that time, what these BJP leaders were doing? They were hooting, they were cheering, they were whistling for the Prime Minister when he insulted Indians prior to 2014. So this is just double standards. Today, across the country, the Congress party is organizing protests, demanding JPC on the Modi Adani nexus, and the government wants to obfuscate, they want to divert the attention of the people, and that is why they are making an issue out of a non-issue. So what's the way ahead? Uh, today, Congress party and DMK have boycotted the, the BAC meeting of Lok Sabha also. To the ruling party have to decide because since the morning we have been seeing it is the BJP through their MPs and ministers, the way they are bulldozing parliamentary procedures in Rajya Sabha, they, the leader of opposition Khargeji did not give sufficient time to speak. In Rajya Sabha, a member of Lok Sabha was discussed in which completely opposite to the procedures of the Rajya Sabha and the parliament. So it is the ruling party which is hell-bent on disrupting the parliament 